Hello everyone, my name is Kamal, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to do a What's in My Backpack 2022. Now this is a video I wanted to do for a while, but I never got around to doing it, and since the end of January is right around the corner, I thought it would be the perfect time to do it, so without further ado, let's roll the intro. So, getting started, let's talk about the bag itself. My bag is a KNF Concept 35 liter outdoors rugged backpack, or that's whatever they call it on their website. Now, I have three things to say about this bag. First of all, as you can tell, it's huge, it's very rugged, it's big, but it's not my main bag, it's not my daily bag. I still use my Herschel Little America for commuting or going out with my friends, but when I go on an actual shoot or a photography trip, that's the bag I go for. Second of all, I got this bag in a giveaway, which is pretty cool because KNF Concept always does, you know, giveaways. And third of all, I've been using it for about a month now, a couple of months, and it's held up pretty well for the time being, so it's kind of encouraging me to go more outside, so that's a plus. So let's start with the top compartment. Now, the top compartment is a camera cube, and so I put all my camera stuff there so it stays relatively quick access, you know, since it's the top, it's really easy to access for me. So I doing this one handed is kind of a Okay, so this is the first compartment which is kind of a camera cube. So after you open this grid, which I just have, you know, a few pens, markers, and a charger here, it's just, you know, random items. Here's the actual juicy part. So right there. First of all, what do we have? My Fujifilm Instax 210. Now this is my instant camera of choice. It's a really good one. Um so here you can see it. It's a really good one, it uses Fujifilm white film, so the bigger ones, and they look insane. They're my favorite instant films on the market, so, you know. Next up is a photo album. I keep this to keep my instant photos, so I just throw them in there, like this. I used to just throw them in a box and stuff, but I just thought it would be, you know, like nicer to just carry them in an album and just bring them around with me so I can show them to people. Okay, so, next item is a lavender bag. It's uh, like this. It's just because I like my back to smell good on the inside, but more seriously, next up is my Canon 60D. Now, this is not my main cam, it's my secondary cam, but I use it because I have an 18 to 200 zoom on it. Now, it's not the sharpest lens ever, it's not the best cam ever, it's a bit old at this point, but for the job I want to do, it's still pretty good, so here are some photos I took with it. And I just keep it in this pouch because it makes it quick access, I just have to open the top compartment, right, and just, it can slide up. Uh, I'm going to show you how I can open only the top, because uh, there are clips and stuff. Um, next up, we have my actual main camera, which is a Fuji X100T, which slides in there. And it's not on top, because if I'm on a photography trip, usually it would already be around my neck. Right, so I don't need to put it on top. And I keep the space for the instant cam, which I need to get quickly, or my other. Uh, so this is the Fuji X100T. It's a very good camera. Uh, it has a 35mm equivalent lens on it that goes up to f2. It's a fixed lens, but I mean, for me it's a plus, not a minus. It's pretty compact, can take really good photos, as you can see right now. And even though I have a DSLR with me, this mirrorless cam, this compact mirrorless cam is the one I use as my main cam, so... And actually right now I'm filming with my iPhone, just so I can actually show you how my bag is packed usually. Next up we have my microphone. Now this is a Boya microphone with a dead cat on it, oops, so, here you go. It's a pretty good microphone, does the job for me, it's pretty good for vlogging, and behind this I have the holy grail, you already know what it is, gaffer tape. So I carry two rolls with me, and I don't care what anyone's gonna say, I'm going to do a video just dedicated to gaffer tape, because gaffer tape is the holy grail, you know, I've literally fixed a dress with gaffer tape, I've literally put markers, I've literally rigged a whole camera with gaffer tape. Like this is the real deal, this saves lives, alright, so you can cringe as much as you want. But listen kids, keep gaffer tape in your bag. Next up are a couple of power banks. So I carry two power banks and for two different purposes. So, first of all I have this 10,000 milliamp hour power bank by Tings with a wireless charging pad, USB PD, all the fancy tech. And I basically use it to charge up my phone, my iPad and stuff on the go. But the more interesting one is this one. It's a 5000 milliamp hour Belkin power bank. It's very standard, doesn't even have Type C. But I use it for a different reason. On my Fuji cam, I can literally use it off of a power pack. And so when I'm shooting longer stuff and I can't really change batteries or charge them or whatever, I just plug this in. So next up is 
this small pouch that I carry. Now this isn't something fancy, it's just a small pouch where I throw random knickknacks. So I just throw sc screwdrivers, random adapters, you know, these kinds of things, like stuff like these and stuff. And that makes it for the main compartment. Next up, I'm going to move to the quick access, right? So I'm gonna close this. And on top of the bag, there's this small compartment with a hard shell on it. Usually I would throw some sunglasses there or something, but I also throw in a notebook, right? I just keep it here so it's like easy of access. This is just to jot down some random ideas when I'm preparing for a shoot or something. Just looks like this, it's just a notebook, right? And I keep a few black pens with it. And in these pouches I just throw on like SD cards and stuff, boring things. Now let's move to the bottom of the bag. Usually I would have a hard drive there, but right now I'm dumping a shoot on it on my computer. Next up we have a micro USB cable just to connect my Fujifilm cam to my power bank. We have this one there, this is a small tripod, my best friend gifted it to me, and usually, I mean, I use it to vlog basically, so I can just put my cam there and talk. Right now I look like an idiot because there's nothing on it, I just hold it like this, especially since my cam is on the 35mm. And now this is a really interesting part, so this bottom pocket slips out like this, and it turns into a whole bag of its own, and looks something like this, which is really nice. So uh, you can just pack stuff in it. And usually when I'm going for a longer trip, let me just put this back in. And usually when I go for a longer trip, I'd remove this and put some clothing in the bottom. I would use the bottom for toiletries, clothing, these kinds of things. And I would take this out and put all my cam, like some of my camera stuff in it so I can just have it quick access, right? Uh, and on the side and throw it in the car or something. Now, last but not least, there's the back pocket where I keep my iPad mini, but it's kind of outdated. I'm gonna upgrade pretty soon to an iPad Pro. But this iPad mini, basically, I use it to, um, if I wanna show work to clients when like at a cafe or something, I'm like, yeah, I wanna show you my work. So I would just open, I would like, yeah, here. You can see some of my photos and then like, oh yeah, right and stuff. And that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. If you'd like a review of this backpack, or if you like something else, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like, follow me on the socials, and I'll hopefully see you in the next time. Keep creating, keep being productive, and peace out.